Today we're doing a Walmart versus Bass Pro Shop budget fishing challenge. The way this is gonna work is I got a coin. Whoever wins the coin toss is gonna go inside of Walmart. And whoever loses the coin toss is gonna get to go to Bass Pro Shop. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make any sense. No, no sense at all, but you know, we're here for it today. I hope I lose today, that's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah. So once we get inside the store, we're gonna have $100 to pick out a rod, a reel, line, and five baits. And the same goes for Bass Pro Shop. And the way that you're actually gonna be able to win the fishing tournament is gonna to be the first person to catch a fish on all five of their lures that they pick out in their respective store. So without further ado, Noah, do the honors, flip the coin. You want me to grab it or do you wanna grab it? Anymore? You're gonna grab it in the air, you pick midair. All right, Ready? hopefully I'll lose. Give it a toss. Tails. Hey! Oh, <laughs> Never thought I'd be celebrating a loss in life. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> the one thing is I always lose to <laughs> And the one time that I win, I don't really want to win. But let's go ahead and get inside of Walmart, see what they got. I'm pretty sure they have a great selection in here. So follow me in. All right, boys, made it inside of the Walmart. This place has one of the biggest selections out of any Walmart that I've been to as far as rods and reels. And I'm ready to go, Fletcher. All right, man. Well, you got three minutes to pick out everything you need. Three, two, one, start. All right, boys. So there is so many rods, as you guys can tell, up and down the section. If you guys come down here, there's actually a whole nother selection out here at the front of the aisle. Okay, we got a few options. Right here, we have all rods. Down there, there's a whole reel cabinet. And then right here, we have all combos. If we're gonna save the most money possible, we probably need to get a combo that already has line on it. That's probably gonna be the smart thing. So let's go ahead and browse. Do whatever you think you need to do, man. All I know is you're doing a lot of talking with only three minutes on the clock. Okay, boys, this is an Ozark trip. All right, don't break it, man. You break it, you buy it. Definitely not buying that <laughs> rod reel. I really don't want to go with the spinning reel today, though, guys. Like, is there a bait caster so combo many... for under 50 bucks? Look at that right there. What is that? It's got line, that too. That is a Shakespeare That's bait gonna... caster. Got line on it, so it saves me money. Yeah? And this is only, I want to say, around 30 to 40 bucks, Fletcher. You see a price tag anywhere? $37. $37? Okay. Yeah, okay. 37 bucks for and a whole combo, bro. And you've wasted half of your time. Okay. So, so now... you got a minute and 30 seconds to pick out at least five lures. But hear me out, 37 bucks, that means I can get more than five lures now. Every other time I mess up, the five baits I get, I end up having one bait that I can't catch a fish on. So we can pretty much buy whatever baits we want. Let's hop into it. Okay, first bait, gonna be Green Pumpkin Sankos by Strike King. You can't go wrong with that. Second bait, June Bug Curly Ooh. Tail Worms, baby. You guys Make sure you get know. some hooks and some weights for those boys. No, you were right about that. Dude, there's gotta be a fluke, right? A fluke? A fluke. Somewhere, I mean, there's oh, some Oh, look ones. at this. They were hidden behind the worms, bro. A little pearl white? Yeah, pearl white. White fluke. I think I'm gonna get one more soft plastic just to play it safe. Bro, hear me out. I know that's like an old man bait. Old, old plastic. lizard? But dude, the, the lizard catches them, boys. You gotta trust me on that. I've been killing it on it recently. Time is ticking, my man. You only got 37, 36, 35. Okay, Better start out. making some Red choices. Eye Chad. That's a solid move, okay. honestly. Chatter dong. I mean, what are, are you just, Listen, can I you got, afford all these? Yes, I can afford all these. Listen, <laughs> okay. we'll add it up at the end. I promise <laughs> I can afford them. Okay, so those are our hard bait. Spinner bait, chatter bait, lipless. We need to grab some hooks. All right, you got 15 seconds. You need that and uh, hooks, bullet weights somewhere. Bullet weights, bullet weights. Do you, do you see bullet weights? Bullet weights. Hold on. I kind of want Eight one more. Seconds. I want one more treble hook bait. One more treble hook. Better pick, man. Two, one. Eh, time is up, son. Nothing else. Okay. Well, we spent under 100 bucks. Did pretty good. $37 combo. Comes of line. I'm happy with what we got, man. Show me what I can't you got. Complain. So give me, give me the full breakdown. To do the little rundown, boys. We got us a $35 bait caster. I already know that this is gonna be a pain in my butt today. But to be honest, for 35 bucks, it's like, can we go wrong? So this is actually a two-piece rod. It's gonna have zero to no sensitivity. I can already feel it. And look at the backbone. This is why I was trying to grab one more treble hook bait. Ooh, that's a little sketch. It's <laughs> it's a little. a little flimsy. So, you know, we got all of these soft plastics and it's going to be hard to penetrate the hook. Did you get that, any treble hook baits? <laughs> I only got a lip loose. Oh, yeah. uh, just a lip loose. Uh, so Spinner bait, chatter bait. That's going to be trouble. But, but to be honest with you, like there's not many options for treble hook baits. I was going to get like a jerk bait. Dude, or maybe what do you a mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's not. Lipless, lipless. I mean, I already got, got a lipless. Bait, prank baits. I mean, this man says there ain't no treble hooks. I technically could have got like two different lipless by two different brands that could have been an option well let's go ahead and hit the checkout line and see if noah actually managed to be under a hundred dollars all right noah about to find out start ringing them up how much uh -huh. you want bet man if this is actually 37 dollars then let's see scan the tag scan the tag see what the damage is 
37 oh, bucks. 37? Yeah, okay. See, I definitely hit it. I think you should be good. Okay, 45. See that? That's money you, to that spare. How you do a budget challenge, boys. And I'm saving you some money, Fletch, you know? Well, on that note, man, I think you might have a little extra room in the budget. Let's grab some. So you got eight bucks to spare. You don't want anything else? Two bucks. Energy drink? <laughs> hey, knock yourself energy out, man. Drink? You got a hundred dollars. What should I get, man? There you go. There's your energy drinks. No hey. one drinks more energy drinks than this kid. Got that white monster, baby. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that, bro. 95 bucks. 94. Actually, I'm Dude, not you paying. Almost brought your, you almost took out your own wallet. <laughs> yeah, right? If you want to pay for my that. videos, you can. And the final damage, 94.63. Proved. Let's get a move on. All right, guys. It's time to go to Bass Pro Shops and see what we can do with $100. I don't think it's going to be as budget friendly, but I think we can get the job done. All right, guys. It's our time to shine. We're here at the Bass Pro Shop, and it's actually been a minute since I've been in a Bass Pro Shop, so I'm not quite sure what to expect for budget friendly combos all right guys we made it into bass pro shops we got to be a little incognito in the store i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of worried about getting kicked out we got a lot of managers and stuff roaming the aisles right now and it's getting a little busy so we're gonna do our best to kind of keep it on the dl and get everything we need without making too much of a ruckus the only problem is i have three minutes and i gotta kind of like run around and be blatantly obvious uh with a giant camera in my face too so i don't know how exactly how we're gonna do that but we're gonna try but we got a three minute timer let's go ahead and start now i'm gonna just put this in the cart right here so i can see it two minutes and 55 seconds all right first things first we're gonna need some bullet weights for sure looking for the most budget friendly things for 29 3 16 ounce we're gonna do that that should work all right gotta keep a move on let's go ahead and grab some wine we're gonna need that let's try to just get the cheapest stuff we can get we got five bucks here that should work let's go ahead and get the 12 pound mono bass pro shop brand that should do it what else can we get um excuse me sir pardon me <laughs> i thought that was actually a person. <laughs> yeah. we got some saw plastics um what is this seven bucks oh no way this has four baits in it i got a lizard a worm a curly tail worm and a brush hog that's four baits and we're doing pretty you're good. cooking you're cooking, cooking with that so we got a minute and 50 seconds left um what else can i, I don't know get? why you didn't start with the rod first I, yeah that probably would have been it might be a recipe move. for disaster um, i'm gonna check your prices by what the way. are these <laughs> these don't have prices on them literally not a single one 79 dollars not gonna work um let's uh let's check this aisle <laughs> a minute and 25 seconds what is this 64.99 i think that could work we're gonna put it in for now if we need to find a cheaper one we will but i think so far we're under 100 dollars and we got four baits so and line and bullet weights and hooks there's actually hooks in that little packet too i don't know if i mentioned that or not maybe like one we just need at least one more lure i don't know where we're at price wise i mean we got to be under 100 bucks we got 52 seconds left better hurry what brother. else can we get i definitely want probably a little 1.5 i'm thinking we're gonna go just kind of with this like natural i don't even know what color that is just shab what about a top water, dude? Maybe top, a top water. Oh, we got some top waters. We got 24 seconds. We have five lures. We have everything we need, but we can get some extra ones. I'm thinking maybe one of these little bone color poppers. Eight bucks. I don't know if that's over budget or not. We're gonna have to crunch the numbers. Oh, gosh. <laughs> watch out for the <laughs> watch out for the rod there, dude. You can't break that. Ninety-five dollars. <laughs> yeah, no, no way. We are right under a hundred. I'm surprised that worked out. Honestly, hey, you did pretty good. I was like, there's a lot to look at in here. I wouldn't even get to look at all the combos. There over there with three minutes to work with you're definitely limited to what you can actually do and find so i'm glad I've, i managed to find this i think this was like the saving grace this carolina rig kit this has four baits in it and hooks and if i wanted to rig up a carolina rig i could i don't want to do that so at least we got the bullet weights to use these ewg hooks with and we got five six lures so if we're having trouble with one we at least have one other option to get the job done so let's go ahead and get to the checkout line and get to the pond and the first person to catch a fish on five different lures wins the tournament. I don't know you, but kids know you, <laughs> and they want to know you. Yeah, how's it going, guys? Good, how are you? Y'all getting some fish and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in if y'all want a picture. Y'all, y'all want a picture with Noah as well? Yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Nice meeting you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you of course. Y'all have a good one. Thank nice you very to meet much. you guys. Thank of course. You. Nice to meet you yeah. guys. It's always nice to meet the fans. I appreciate you guys saying hi. If you see me in public, always feel free to come up and say what's up. All right, appreciate it, man. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>
<laughs> always, always a hassle with these cards. Hey, you guys, take a look at that. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this the world record bass? That is the world record bass. I literally think I could probably almost fit my head inside of that thing. That doesn't even look real. The thing is, today we're beating it. We're, we're catching a 22 pound bass and five ounces. Whoa! Whoa! Noah's letting my cart run away over here. I was waiting to how long till you notice. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was just going it in a nice perfect. space. Well, guys, we got everything we needed. With tax, we came in at 102. Noah, are you are you giving me a break or do I have to eliminate one lure? You gotta eliminate one. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, it's with tax, bro. <laughs> yeah. I think Noah's gonna give me a break. If y'all have a problem with that. Hey, just remember that. Okay. Just remember me cutting <laughs> you a break. You me a break. <laughs> just remember. Yeah. Well, on that note, guys, let's go ahead and get this stuff in the car so we can go ahead and get to the pond and hope Hopefully catch us a world record bass. All right, guys, it is time to get to business. Ooh, baby. First person to catch five fish on five different lures is going to win. Let's get these rods out of here and get some lures tied on. So are you ready to lose, Fletch Daddy? Dude, I've never lost to you one time on my channel. Really? It's never happened. We might have to see what the viewers have to say about that. <laughs> Dude, there's so many comments saying, why do I even try against you? And I feel like there was like one stretch where I lost Dude, you they, like, like nine times. It, was, it bad. was a lot. It, <laughs> it was, was bad. bad. We pushed through, we persevered, and we're back at it. And we're catching dubs left and right these days. And we're about to tie this popper on and get the party started. The sun is coming down and the top water bite is heating up. Boys, listen now. I'm excited about this combo that we got going here. The one thing that worries me, it's a two piece rod. If you understand what that means, it comes apart. Not only is this a rod that doesn't have much sensitivity, it also doesn't have any backbone. So I probably should have got more treble hook baits, but we're gonna try our very best and just know, um, don't get mad at me for hook setting these fish like they're sharks because there's a reason behind it. I mean, look at this rod. It is a flimsy freaking noodle. Dude, what you should be worried about is how that rod is tying on your lure a little bit quicker because I'm all rigged and ready to go. And we're going down to this little corner where we've been catching them the last few times we've been out here. Hopefully that lure does not go into my sleeve. That would be that would be bad news. All right, boys, we are going with the treble hook bait to start off because I think I can get a fish on board. I just feel like we will be more patient if I catch a fish right away. All right, boys, let's get down there and see if we can catch one before Fletcher does. Down here in the corner, the watercolor and clarity is looking absolutely ferocious. We got some chocolate milk vibes, but that's okay. I like chocolate milk. All right. Don't, don't cause any problems. This is the kind of stuff that causes me to lose challenges. Check the drag. Not gonna lose a fish or anything stupid here. Okay, first cast right up here in this corner. On that shade, the rod, the action feels good. The popper action is looking extra saucy. The striking popper is one of my favorite ones. You can walk it, you can pop it really good. It's a really easy popper to work. I feel like there's some poppers out there that can just be kind of difficult to work if you're kind of like a new fisherman, kind of need like a specific setup. But I feel like this is one that just anybody can pick up and get the gist. Zoom in, boy. I got a fish right away. You can't. Gosh, you can't even make this up, baby. What did I say, boys? What did I freaking say? Listen, man. Listen, man. Tear me out, boys. You gotta be joshing my tots right now. He ain't big, but guess what? That don't even matter because we are already on board and we are already leading the challenge, boys. What did I say two minutes ago? I said we need to get on board first, and that is exactly what we just did. Let's cut this bait off and get on a new one. Let's see if we can catch one bigger than that. Bait number one complete, baby. I don't know what Noah caught that fish on. Maybe a crankbait. Let me try to sling this way back in this corner. I don't know if topwater is going to be the move or not. I was hoping we could get one on this bank. The last few times we fished this pond, they've been clobbering topwater, like especially down this bank. All right, boys. Well, I'm already back at the cart in one cast. I'm a little weird when it comes to the one cast deal. It's one of those things that's like, hey, is it good luck or is it bad luck? You guys let me know down below. I always ask for that. So this is a white, just standard white chatterbait. I'm actually gonna put my fluke on the back of it. That does not count as two baits, okay? It only counts as one. We can't really cheese the system there. Rig this fluke right on the back of it. Let's see if we can really put some pressure on Fletcher here. <laughs> if I can get to him mentally, I think uh, we can easily go secure the dub. Let's walk over here, take a little cast down this side. See, there's this little fishy hanging up underneath this brush. Let's go down this bank right here. We got a little shade line. Looks pretty promising. and one one thing that we didn't even check is our drag. 
Our jack's pretty good. It's not too loose, not too tight. I don't know what pound line this is, so combo is not bad. It is definitely not good, but it's, it, it can get the job done. There used to be like a ton of bushes on the side. It looks like the golf course maintenance crew came over here and cut it off. So I don't know if it's just like sitting in the edge of the water, if they actually like just completely removed it and like took it out of here. I have a feeling there's gonna be a fish right on this little bend. This little kind of a point, little nipple that comes off here just like that but if they threw it in the water there definitely could be some fish did he catch another one just like that just like that baby stay pinned son He's, and he got off he got off all right i think we gotta take top water off guys i don't think it's the move he came off <laughs> yeah and and i was worried about you know the chatter donk or the spinner bait and that's what i was talking about with this rod it's really hard to get a bunch of pressure on those fish but we're gonna keep on fishing we're off to a really good start like i said if i can get two fish before fletcher even has one that's gonna get to him mentally i already know and uh then we're just gonna kind of sweep in from behind or sweep keep on sweeping and, and secure the dub here let's get this thing cut off and let's go ahead and try something else. I was hoping we could make something happen with the top water quickly, but the spots that I felt confident in didn't produce anything, not even a sniff. So we're gonna switch gears to the crankbait, which I have a lot of confidence in right now with this murky water, a lot of vibration, easy for the fish to find. Gotta be a couple fish right here. Should be able to get a good bite. Just like that, just like that. No way. Just like that stay pin, baby. Stay pin, baby. Stay pin, baby. Oh, that's a good one, too. Look at that one, boy. Dude, I swear I've never met anyone luckier than Noah Pescatelli. The luckiest kid I've ever met on Earth. <laughs> and that right there, boys, is a great old chatter donk bass, man. Those are the ones we like. That's about a two and a half, two and three quarter pounder. Second bait complete. And uh, let your better catch up, boys. <laughs> Thank you for biting, baby. You're a beautiful fish. Good fight. There she goes. We've had a tendency of whoever starts out hot in the challenge tends to lose. So maybe I have a comeback here. He's ahead too. But I think we can make a comeback. I think we just had the wrong lure tied on and I think it's just a matter of getting the right thing in front of their face. Let's go down this bank, see if we can't get something happening with this. Boys, we're exactly where we need to be. We've already had three bites. Flesher hasn't even had a bite. He's got to learn how to wiggle that worm a little better. But hey, let's see what we got. Let's see any other baits. Maybe the spinner bait, man. I have to go to the spinner bait because because I just had two bites on the chatter donk fairly quick, and I could only assume that the spinner bait would get slammed just as good as the chatter donk. Yes, yes, let's go. Let's go, fish number uno, stay on, stay on. Boom! Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That just tells me what I need to know about the top water. Cast it in that exact spot like three times in a row right when I got over here. And they did not even sniff that. But first cast right up on that bank with the crank. The little KVD 1.5 produced right away. Lure number one out of the way. Four more to go. Uh-oh, Fletcher finally got him one. We're still ahead though, boys. Let's just keep our heads down, stay focused. Oh! Dude, he hammered this guy. Same spot that that last fish ate. There must be multiple fish here. Let's see if we can get him to bite again. I appreciate the bite, baby. Woo! All right, <laughs> let's go, guys. It's time to break into our Carolina rig kit here that has the rest of our tackle for the most part. But we have four different soft plastics. We got worms, we got lizards, we got creature baits. But the good thing is once we have our little rig tied on, if they're dialed in on the soft plastic bite, it's gonna be pretty easy to change lures. And I think we're gonna be able to get the job done pretty dang quick. There he is, right there. That's a big one. We just cannot afford to, oh no, no, we got another one. Oh yes, stay pinned, son. Stay pinned, son. That's a good three plus pounder right there, baby. Oh yes, I gotta grab this one. He's getting carried away now. He's getting carried away. <laughs> that one's definitely got some weight on him, unlike that last fish. Spinnerbait has been a confidence bait of mine recently. Caught a 10 pounder three weeks ago on the same spinnerbait. That is our biggest fish today. And it's more importantly, our third bait complete. So now we're on to bait number four, and that's a nice fish. He just needs a little bit more belly on him. There she goes. 
Heck yeah, boys. Now we're on to bait number four. Okay, got that tied on. Let's get our lizard hooked up. I really hope the soft plastic bite is fire right now because it seems like Noah's catching all of his fish on moving baits. And that's what I just caught mine on. So if they're not biting on these, it's gonna be a problem. We're gonna go right back in where we just caught that one. That tends to be a spot where they stack up. All right, boys. So this is what we're working with here. Spinner bait complete, chatter dunk complete, lipless crankbait complete. All three of our moving baits that we bought. So I will say, we really need to catch a fish on one of the soft plastics. So I think what I'm gonna do is tie on the fluke for my fourth bait. That's something that's finesse, but I can still move pretty fast. I can cover some water with it. And with how these fish are eating, I just wanna go ahead and knock out all the moving baits that I got and then save a Texas rig for the last bait because I think it might give me a little bit of trouble. This fluke might even give me trouble. It's just about driving the hook in the fish. All right, here we go. Fluke is all rigged up. Now we just gotta get out here, and make some casts. I feel like I've worked my lures way too fast and I don't I don't need to work my soft plastic at like Mach 5. I just need to take my time, do what the lure's designed to do, work it nice and slow, slowly pull it over these stumps and get a bite just like that. Oh no! Gosh dang it, man. The backbone, the hook setting power with this thing is gonna be a struggle. The good thing is this is a pretty light wire EWG hook. So hopefully we're gonna be able to get that thing through some fish's mouths. How's it going, dude? It's going good, man. We're chilling. We're vibing. We're catching fish. Are you chilling or are you nervous? <laughs> you know, we're dialed is what we are. You're dialed. Dialed on getting this dub. I don't need any distractions from you. <laughs> just trying to get in my head over there. Yeah, you know, I told the camera, so I just got to get to you a little bit mentally right now. <laughs> I think I've done my job quite well. Is there any fish biting over here? Dude, you got the momentum right now, but it's about the shift. So is there any fish? Is there any fish? I heard there was a lot of fish over here. I mean, you can try. See, if maybe you cast over there and catch one first cast i'm gonna be a little triggered I'm it, not gonna it lie. might just happen just let it happen fletcher i got four soft plastics to go i think the moving bite is hot right now we're gonna see how they feel about the soft plastics i got one nibble and time will tell there he is no freaking way that's a big <laughs> that hook said that was a bit dude really I had to keep the pressure baby you got a good one i think so oh. yeah baby <laughs> had to keep that pressure Last. I can ruin my own day with that Dude. last bait. Are you really gonna slide in there like that and catch my fish on that bank? I mean, you didn't really answer me. I was just wondering <laughs> if there's fish over here, dude. You know? <laughs> you know? I swear to God. Wow. This kid. Look at that. This kid. It's a good one, Flusher, isn't it? I don't want to look at it. <laughs> you see it? Dude, I'm not acknowledging that fish right now. You don't want to at least touch it? <laughs> Look at that, baby. Fourth fish. One more bait to go. Okay, guys. Promise I'm going to have done that. Now i got to find my lures. There's that. There's All right, baby. This. Thank you for biting. Okay. Cool. We're yeah. going to make a little adjustment here with our stuff. Get it all in the bag. We're going on a commando mission that might just shift the tide for us here, boys. All right, Fletcher. I'm going to go tie on my last bait. <laughs> yeah, you son of a gun. <laughs> all right. It's time to go on a Navy SEAL mission back here in the thick stuff. There's a trail somewhere back here. We just got to find it. We can kind of get back in here. There we go. All right, it's time to make something happen here. Where you go, bang, bang, bang. In all these little holes, it's tight quarters. But we got a little Texas rig and we got a lot of determination. Watcher's going back there in the woods. See guys, what did I say? We just had to stay positive, keep it cool, and catch fish. Do what we love doing. And that was enough to get in Fletcher's head. So here is our last bait. We're gonna use this curly tail June bug worm on a Texas rig and try to seal the deal. Nothing on that first cast. Let's keep him move on. Try to get over here. Oh yeah, this looks like a spot. This is fish. That's a Fletcher the Fisherman guaranteed. If I could get in the water. Boom, money. Absolute money. Nobody's doing it like this. You know, I haven't had a lot of luck in this corner of the pond by these trees, but it looks so good to throw a little Texas rig. That was a horrible cast, but <laughs> I'm gonna stick right here for a second and just see if I can cast along this tree line and get a bite. Yep. Shucks. Oh, we lost him. Dang it, man. Well, that sucks. Our hook did not go through our lizard at all. Just went straight into him. Dug even deeper. But at least we know they'll bite this thing. And our mission back here might be a success. Haven't heard anything else from Noah. Hopefully he doesn't have any more luck. Dude, here we go. Here we go. Got him. Oh, he came off. 
I had to run back because this cast was so far. Oh man, see that was the worry I had with this bait. And that is why I'm saving it for last year. It's just the hookup ratio with a rod this flimsy. <laughs> it's not the best. I just went through a tree or something. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, dude. Hold on. We were on the summer right here, boys. Guys, where I messed up was going all soft plastics. And I thought it would be the move. Summertime, these fish are lethargic. They're wanting something slow. Apparently not today. They want those moving baits. Noah's got like all moving baits. Now he's stuck on the soft plastics. He's back on my wavelength. I think it was just a matter of choosing the wrong lures. I'm actually going to leave that hook exposed right there. We should get bit. There's no way that was a fish the initial bite, right? If it was, I wouldn't think he would bite again. We, I'm telling you, this is a good spot right here, boys. We're back at this spot. I think this is the hole I missed a fish in. Let's go back out there. Okay, this is gonna be our last shot here, guys, before we get out of here. I was really hoping that this was gonna pan out for us, but all we're catching is tree limbs and missing fish. So I think we need to go ahead and get out of here. That is not working for us now. Let's go ahead and grab our stuff and get on the move. Well, at least Noah slowed down. That makes me feel a little bit better. That is just not my fishing skills and it's just bait choice. But I guess I did pick my own baits. So there's that. Take it for what it is. Uh, skedaddle down here. Try this bank line. All right, guys. So the bite has totally turned off here. Like we came out here, Noah spanked him real quick and I caught one and had a few other bites. But now we've been fishing for like the last like 45 minutes and nothing has happened besides a few missed fish. So we're going to call an audible and go to another pond. Okay, on Lord. to the next. Next poem, boy. So you think you can win, Fletch? Dude, it's all about the halftime adjustment. We're making all kinds of game plans, and we're gonna come out with a strategy like no one's ever seen before. We're just gonna throw a Texas rig and hope the fish bite it, just like we were in the first half. So your strategy is <laughs> to do the same thing. All right, time to get to work. <laughs> we gotta make this pond oh. count. We, <laughs> Noah's, don't start with that stuff. Oh, oh God. Big stretch. I hope that comes back oh, to bite you, man. big stretch. You're not done yet? Noah's being all cocky over there, taking his time, stretching out, oh. and little does he know, we're gonna come back in absolutely no time, and he's gonna be a nervous oh. Nelly. Sometimes plus here just feels good to just stretch. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't <sighs> need that energy around me right now. Go to the other side of the pond. You got a fish on. No, I don't. You sure? Let's move up here, try flipping all of this stuff, try some close range tactics. I feel like the closer we are to the fish when he bites, the better chance we're going to have with the hook set. It's actually a really nice night. <laughs> Noah could make it better. <laughs> Dude, you see, you, you see you're over here like you're about to make a move on me. I'm, 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 you keep, keep your distance, man. I mean, I was man. trying to get your number. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Dude, another day, another missed fish. This Wait, was... he was right there? <laughs> Get out of here with that. I could really do this. Just know. I am a professional at stealing your fish, Fletch. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm going to the other end. All right, do your thing over there, boy. Boys, we're going deep in the forest to try to hunt a 10 yonder pounder. Oh, baby. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Fish number two and actually feels like a pretty good one. Holy moly, what do we have? He's, what are we? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up, he's coming up. I think he's, oh, he was stuck on something. Oh, let's go. Dude, that fish felt like it was like eight pounds for a second. He was just stuck down in some brush or something on the bottom right there. I had to pull him out of it. Thankfully, he didn't come off. That's fish number two. And that is the start of the comeback. The halftime adjustments are coming in clutch. Doing the same thing we did in the first half. <laughs> let's go ahead and get her back in and find us another one. Shoo. All right, thankfully we got the Texas rig tied on. This is like the one advantage to this right now is that I can just like quickly switch baits without having to like tie anything. What else we got in here? A worm, curly tail. Let's go with the little brush hog action. I think that's the move. Boom bada bing. Dude, he is shaking in his boots right now. Let me tell you. Oh, <laughs> that scared me, man. That was a squirrel, by the way. Some wild, fluffy creatures that you'd always want to definitely try to pet. But if you pet it, it would definitely take a finger off. For some reason, I've had this resisting urge my whole life to pet a squirrel, but I am too big of a sissy to actually do it. I like my fingers too much. Okay, we're out here on this point. The spot right there always delivers for me. Come on, be home today. Kind of like the height we got here too. The bank's a little higher.
<laughs> We're going in for broke. Oh my gosh, that was ballsy. Dude, these gnats are all in my eyes. I can't tell if I got bit or if I went over a branch. Oh, that was a bite. Hold on now. Boom, boom. Fish number three. Fish number three. We're on the board. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. The comeback is happening, boys. It is on the horizon. Three, two, four. We're only one fish down, and I think we can make it happen, guys. Noah's on the struggle bus. Here you go, little girl. Let's keep it move on. All right, let's take that off. I'm just trying to focus on winning this right now. Let's see what I need. I got the worm. Come on, fishy. Let's get fishy tonight. Come on, fishy. Oh, is that? Oh, no. Just kidding. Grass. Is he that worm? Yes, got him, boys. I had to see him to him. Oh, no. No, got one. Shucks. Oh, that is the worst feel in the world. Losing the Noah Pescatelli. Hopefully, that fish comes off. I had to see him to him, boys. I had to see him to him. That is it, baby. That is it right there, and the challenge is over. Right there, boys, that is a fishy fish on a fishy night, and that's how you win, right there.